What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a watermark over top of your render. So this is basically the final result you're going to get right here. And this is for if you're doing a client project and you want to show somebody a proof before you go ahead and show them the full render um, just to protect your work. There are other reasons for doing this such as just adding a general overlay to your render if you want to add some dust on the camera or like a lens flare. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So this is kind of the result we're going for and I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. So I'm in my new document here. I'm just going to go ahead and snap to my camera view. I'm going to go right over to the compositing tab. I'm going to click on use nodes. All right, so now we're going to start with these two nodes, our render layers and composite. And we're going to add a bunch of nodes in between here. Don't get overwhelmed. I'll explain everything. The first thing we're going to add is an image. So we're going to put that right here. And then we're going to go ahead and add a mix. And we're going to go ahead and put that right here. I'm going to actually go ahead and duplicate the mix and then I'm going to add in a scale node. And I'm also going to add a viewer node so that we can actually see what's going on and see our result here. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and plug our scale into the image composite and the viewer node. And then I'm going to plug our image from the renders layer into our mix node. I'm going to change this mix node to screen. And then our next mix node, I'm going to go ahead and change that to, or sorry, I'm going to actually delete that. That was the wrong node. I wanted to do an alpha over for that. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and plug our image from the screen into the, uh, into both image slots here. And then we're going to plug our alpha over into our scale, just like that. And we're going to set this to render size here. And then we're going to go ahead and plug our image into our screen right here, into our bottom image slot. So, so far so good. Um, obviously you're not gonna see anything yet guys because one, we don't have an image selected and two, we haven't rendered anything yet. Uh, we do need one more node, we need the invert node. I'm gonna go ahead and put, place that down here and I'm gonna plug that into our FAC. And then for our alpha of our image, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the color. Perfect, okay. Uh, you wanna also click alpha on your invert node and let's just go ahead and render real quick and see what we get. So as you can see, we just have the cube and that's because we don't have an image selected for our overlay yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up an image from my downloads. I just downloaded this, uh, this image here. And as you can see, we already have the preview right here. Now you can see the image is way blown up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to duplicate this scale node right here. Sorry, I'm gonna delete that. I'm just gonna add in a new scale node. And as you can see, it's set to relative and I'm just gonna pop it right between our image and our screen here. And then if I just go ahead and set both values to 0.5, you can see that it shrinks our logo down so it fits within our frame here. And now what's happening here is basically our image has a black background and that's getting removed with the screen element right here. As you can see, you can adjust the opacity by adjusting the FAC right there, which is great. Um, and guys, that's basically it. So now you can literally swap this out with any image that you want. I'll just go ahead and swap it out with this logo. As you can see, works the same way. So you can pretty much select anything. As long as it has a dark background, it should work. This is another image with a dark black background and the screen blending mode just gets rid of that completely so that you can have this image overlay. And guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the original logo. Um, these are the nodes right here. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can really see those a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on those. Those are all the nodes that you will need. Again, don't, don't forget you can adjust your scale right here. If you still think the logo is not big enough, you can adjust it back to 0.75, blow that logo up nice and big, and then you can adjust the opacity right here with the FAC. So guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I just wanted to cover this super quickly because I know a lot of you guys want to add watermarks to your renders and it's super important especially when you're dealing with client work so uh, it's just a way to protect your work and it's also a way to add some really cool effects as well if you find some super cool dust overlays or lens flare whatever it might be so i just wanted to cover that real quick i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one take care